in the same field that uh, we were just talking from a couple moments ago out uh, outside of Rake, Iowa here. Um, Zach Smith, uh, my fellow employee at Austin's Farm Supply who farms. This is actually his field. And what Zach did here was uh, he went out with a strip till bar and uh, did some strip till right into the standing cover crop. And you can see it, it worked up really nicely. Um, I think Zach's quite excited about the prospects of how that's gonna turn out. Yeah. So how long has this been planted, Zach? So this, the field that we're in was seeded uh, between the 29th and the 31st of July uh, this season. And we were lucky to get a rain shortly, uh, about a week after we seeded it. It was really, really dry conditions, so we were pretty concerned um, about how it was going to pop up. But uh, we, once we got the rain, the, the mix came up beautiful. And it's been nice because we've been able to see all the species, or pretty much all the species, emerge in our mix. And we were pretty hesitant. This field actually was PP and we pattern tiled it and then uh, worked it a couple times. We didn't really know after working it that much how well the ground would uh, handle and take off or let the cover crop take off, but it's it's really exceeded our expectations. Uh, it's been been pretty exciting. So, um, but my concern, you know, never doing this before is like a lot of farmers' concerns where how are we gonna handle this? And so being a strip tiller, I really didn't know how my machine um, was gonna come out here, if it was gonna plug up and be a, a, a ball of green or not. So. This past weekend, I said I'm going to hook it up and come out and just have a test run and see. And I, uh, I once I dropped it, I didn't go very far, and I I knew right away that it, this was going to work really well. At least with with my machine, I have a, a Krauss Gladiator, and it really did a nice job of clearing the the residue out of the way and not wrapping around uh, the shank. I didn't have any kind of plugging issues, and uh, and uh, you know the nice thing is you look here at the residue that's left. This is you know essentially uh, what would it be four or five days after we did this. Um, we have, I mean, it's really already starting to break down quite nicely um, from what we have uh, here in the field. So, so I'm excited to have the cover crop, you know, build the soil and then with strip till help uh, maintain and keep kind of what's uh, what we've started here and not do too much disturbance to keep the benefits of all these, all the great rooting and biological breakdown we'll have for next year. So essentially about two months worth of growth that you strip till directly. Correct. Into. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I think you start talking about a really important topic and that's you know, the management of this cover crop as soon as we're done with it or we think it's, it, we've got the benefit from it. And I think strip tilling, if, if you are a strip tiller boy, it's a perfect way to come in here and at least start that residue process of breaking it down. And like, like Zach was saying, boy, when you hit this stuff, there, there's just, there's hardly any cellulose built up in any of these plants and no lignin content. And so it's not like a dried corn stalk that, that hangs around for such a long period of time. There's a lot of moisture in these plants and when you knock them down or you you, you root them up, they start that decomposition process very fastly. And that, that's exactly what's going to happen with a frost too. If you've got a, a stand that, that you're not too concerned with, the amount of growth that you have, just a simple frost and, and freezing throughout the winter is really going to take care of a lot of that growth. And you're going to come back in the spring and really be surprised with how little uh, material is left on top of the ground. Um, and so I think from a management side, um, you know, sticking with what your normal regimen schedule is works great. And if you're not concerned with, with how much growth you have out there and that ground warming up in the spring, just let it freeze out, let it be, and be pretty patient with how that, that stuff's going to break down. Mm -hmm.